Well, it's Thursday, <clears throat> which means it's massage day. So, I have a question or a something that irritates me specifically that I just want to pose to other parents out there. Um, and I will start by saying that I think it is every parent or parental figure's right to raise their children how they see fit. It is not my business or my responsibility to raise anybody else's children other than my own or any children that I take on. That I say, yes, I will. I'll be responsible for you. Now, with that being said, I think that as parents, we have in this generation, uh, I'm going to be 40 in March, so I will talk about my children and children in my kids' age group, um, have swapped swapped spots, meaning that the parents have become the children and the children have become the parents. And children feel really free to speak to their parents as if they are in the same group. Grouping. And in terms of finance, I think it is important as parents that we teach our children to spend on their dime and not ours. What I mean by that is you personally may make $100,000 a year. You make $100,000 a year. Your kids don't. Your kids don't. And if you allow them to spend, like, they make $100,000 a year when they are adults. They will expect to still make and spend and live like they make $100,000 a year. And in reality, it is very, very rare. Um, unless they go to school to be doctors, lawyers, stumble upon a, a family job, um, have inheritance... You know, most people do not come out of college or come out of high school making $100,000 a year. Uh, you start off taking out the trash and sweeping the floor. Even, you know, with a degree, you know, that's just how it is. And it really is frustrating <laughs> because you have people whose kids have to move back home and you have to support them because you haven't taught them how to live independently. So that's why I advocate and I tell people when we talk about the word no, how important the no is. How important it is to instill work ethic and to make kids, children, understand that they're children. They're not adults. So when adults are having conversations it's okay for children to listen and have questions after the conversation ends, but not when adults are talking. Children should be involved in children things. Adults should be involved in adult things. At the same time, as parents, I strongly advocate and strongly suggest and recommend to parents now who still have children at home that they have some sort of influence over. Teach your children to live within their means. You are not helping them by spoiling them to the point that you are disabling them. You're making them incapable of taking care of their self. Anyway, I am going to get a massage. My children are at school. You guys be blessed. Have a great day.